We want to welcome to the Straight Red Card one of our favorite writers and a guy that Brett and I read every week, the soccer insider himself uh, from the Washington Post, Stephen Goff. Hey, Stephen, thanks for being our uh, first guest in uh, 2011. Uh, it's my pleasure to join you guys. And uh, how was your holiday season? It was restful. The <laughs> laptop remained closed. But the BlackBerry, of course, had to stay on. <laughs> As it does. And by the way, before we get to the serious stuff, um, what did you think about, what are your thoughts about all the dead and dying fish and birds? What is going on here with that? <laughs> it's a tragedy. A true tragedy. <laughs> Not it... as great of a tragedy as the demise of WPS, but a tragedy nonetheless. <laughs> well... At least with WPS, if it in fact is in, in its final uh, death rows, uh, we won't have any really bad soccer team names to make fun of anymore. Yeah, MLS is working on it, so we'll <laughs> come up with something. But no, you're right. It's WPS is. We've gotten rid of. We've gotten rid of uh, a lot of ours, though. Yeah, I. <laughs> I, I was just hoping. Yeah, I mean, MLS says the you know sport in Kansas City. People get used to it, but it just it, it just seems so hollow. It you know? it does sniff hollow, doesn't it? Um, yeah. So speaking of the holiday seasons and speaking of seasons in general, um, it is the transfer season. And before we get to all the Americans that are demonstrating uh, with premiership clubs, let's start with some of the young Americans out there making waves. And I want to start with one in particular, namely Stuart Holden from Bolton. And, uh, of course, when I saw Stuart uh, was going to Bolton uh, to play in the premiership, I guess my first thought was, as always, I was hoping he would do well. And I uh, really didn't picture him as the pivot guy uh, the field general for Bolton, if you will. I guess I was thinking he might play out wide. Uh, I yeah. didn't. I didn't see where they were going to have a CAM position, a center attacking uh, midfielder position for him. But here he is. He's rated the best player in the Premiership by fans and readers, and he's being successful. Am I alone in being surprised, Stephen? And um, were you at all surprised by Stewart's success or the brand of success uh, and how quickly it evolved for him? Yeah, you're not alone. I mean, I, I've always pictured him as an outside midfielder. Um, and when you when you take when you go from MLS to uh, the Premier League, you figure that's where he's going to stay, just because he doesn't have the you know the ball the ball skills the fo the footwork to to play in the middle at such a high level. But mm. uh, it's just been really impressive, and it just shows when you when you put these guys. American players in the right places and, and you put the right support around them, you know, some of them can, some of them can really play at the highest yeah. level. I mean, even it, it's been a much uh, small, tighter window, but you know, Jonathan Spector, mm -hmm. who's been a defender um, in England for years, you know, was thrown into the, into the middle yeah. uh, for West Ham and he performed well in a few games. So, um, you know these guys got some skills, and and Holden is emerging as, uh, you know, uh, one of the top American players. Clearly, I mean, this is a guy who, you know, if, if the World Cup were to take place um, six months from now, as mm -hmm. opposed to six months ago, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, you know, he'd be on, uh, he'd be in the starting lineup. Yeah. Um, into the area and he finishes it well but look Davis just a little dink down down the line to Lee he gets to the dead ball line cut back for Holden slides it home well it's a textbook goal 
That's how to beat the offside trap from deep and then cut it back. And it's a simple tap in. And Holden, he deserves it. <laughs> Such an underrated player, but I really like this kid in midfield. Well, he's certainly making a name for himself, though, now, Stuart Holden. He's played every game in the league this season for Bolton, but his first goal for the club. You know, whether he, he had this ability, this capability last summer, you know, we'll never know. Right. But, um, yeah, this is a kid on the rise for sure. Yeah, I, yeah I, think, I think what shocked me the most is not necessarily his, his success, but rather the rate of his success, how quickly he went from off the plane to being a key player for Bolton. I think that's what really surprised me the most. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's... He's performing well. They rely on him. Uh, you know, he's been out here and there, uh, and, and clearly that's affected uh, Bolton. Um, you know, he's uh, he's a talented player. We saw it in MLS, and um, we've seen glimpses of it with the national team, and yeah. now we're seeing it on a consistent basis in a demanding league. Um, and now everyone here in the States would love to see him uh, become more assertive, mm -hmm. nail down a starting spot with the national team, mm -hmm. and really thrive in uh, you know these major friendlies that are coming up this year, yep. and of course the Gold Cup this summer when uh, you know when there's something at stake. Yeah. Uh, so he's he's going to be a he's going to be a key part of this team. Um, hopefully he he stays healthy. And I think the surprise was, I mean we're not surprised by the fact that this guy hustles. And, and works his ass off every game because it seems like it's, it surprises uh, some of the English announcers. They're like, boy, this guy, he just runs all game line, all, all game long. But, you know, the thing that's really surprised me, Steve, is how good he has been, even though he plays box to box for Bolton, how good he's been defensively. Yeah. He's been great defensively. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, there's still that perception in Europe, particularly in England, that – other than with Landon Donovan, that Americans uh, can't play, uh, you know, flowing soccer. They, they can't. They have. They don't have the skills. They'll they'll work hard, and they have the determination and that team spirit, that American gung ho spirit. Uh, and they produce great goalkeepers, but you know, a, a skilled player in the center of the pitch just does not exist um, yeah. from the the American program. And, and, you know, Holden's proving them wrong. We've seen Dempsey for years now perform well for for Fulham. Yeah, absolutely. Donovan performed extremely well at Everton last year on loan. Um, you know, uh, Claudio Reyna had some some good time in in, uh, in Europe, and mm. Maurice Adu, uh with Rangers, obviously. So, right. um, you know, the, the perception is clearly changing, but... Um, you know, there, there's still that idea, that that thought that that Americans can't play with the ball. Right, and actually, it still kind of frustrates me sometimes. And I haven't missed a Bolton game this season yet, uh, because they keep launching balls over his head, um, you know, and just bypassing the midfield so often. It, it really becomes frustrating. Um, however, uh, that does lead to a dilemma for us, right? As far as our midfield is so loaded, I mean, if you want to use the word loaded, for the United States men's national team, um, yeah. where should we play holding with the United States? I mean, because Bob, uh, should Bob give him a chance uh, when you have Michael Bradley, Jermaine Jones, Marisa Du, all fighting for those two little middle spots? And we saw that little experiment where he played, you know, three midfielders, essentially, in one of the yeah. friendlies. Uh, where do we stick... Um, where do we stick holding? That's a great question. Um, I don't know, and I, I think we'll we'll find out uh, what Bob is thinking. You know, in that game in Egypt, perhaps yeah. uh, in next month, and then in March, once this Argentina friendly is finalized, which we expect it will be. Mm. Um, it's it's a great question. I mean, another question. You know, we've always had that question about Landon Donovan. Where does Landon Donovan play? Mm -hmm. You know, is he a withdrawn forward? Is he wide midfield player? Should he play underneath the striker? Should he be a playmaker? You know, so you know, you, you see that a little bit with Holden now because he's typically been a wide player mm. uh, for the U.S. team, but now he's showing something. Um, and again, bringing up Jonathan Spector, 
you know, does mm-hmm. Bob Bob Bradley look at Spectre in in some kind of role in midfield yeah. since you know Spectre did well has done well at West Ham midfield for a few games and Spectre has not performed particularly well on the back line for the U.S. No. Uh, and really lost out on a chance to start in the World Cup and you know Chirundolo reclaimed that that right back spot. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what to do with Holden. I don't know, but they they have plenty of time to figure it out. Yeah, you know, this is a this is very early in a in the cycle. Um, I'm sure they'll experiment a bit and then you know find the right place for them come summer when when uh, the Gold Cup begins. Mm-hmm.